back to the paddock. Here's Trish. Thank you, Sam. I'm now joined by trainer Richard Wagers. And Richard, you've got half a dozen horses in these amateur races kicking off our early program here at Delaware. And as a trainer, it's your responsibility to take care of every little thing with your horse besides conditioning them. Do you also have to babysit or coach these amateur drivers? We try to do the best we can. Most of them seem to know a little bit about it. So we just head them in the right direction. When you're looking for a horse to compete in these amateur races, what kind of a horse do you have to have? Uh, we have a bunch of horses that we race at Northfield, and uh, uh, most of them are fairly well broke, and they can handle them fairly well. Now, you say you point them in the right direction, but a lot of these horses have personalities, and you have six of them on this early program. Any one of these six uh, may be a little cantankerous? Well, the main thing is Mr. No, uh, uh, he's a little green and uh, the horse is a little bit uh, cantankerous and uh, he, he's been getting along with it better than anybody, really. Well, that's very good. Fred No, of course, the executive director of the U.S. Trotting Association, he's handling Durham Lady in this upcoming first. Seven to two in the morning line. I'm not sure what the odds board says right now, but Richard, this horse has been making mistakes in the last couple. Yes, it usually does, but not for Fred. So this mare perhaps today will be on uh, the inside post position. Do you expect her to fly right on out of there? Yes, if he gets to the gate. Sometimes he's a little hesitant to get to the gate in time, and uh, he gets her started back too far, but uh, most of the time she, she wants to leave. Well, let's take a quick look at some of the others in race two today from the rail. Chu Noble, Noble Ray Ray. Uh, she's a nice mare. Uh, she likes to go to the top, but she usually don't have enough to finish the mile. Uh, she's a little uh, hard to rate. All right, and in the same race, NV better than ever. A nice gelding by King Kong. Yes, uh, we've only had him in two or three starts, and uh, he's uh, racing better each time. Uh, they pulled him three wide the last start and uh, went to the front real quick and uh, just trotted him off his feet, but he should be right there today. All right, you heard it here. In the third race, we have an entry, 1-1-A, one one C. Darwin and E.B. Bob. What can you tell me about this pair? Uh, C. Darwin is another horse that likes to make mistakes for no reason at all, but he's probably the fastest horse we got, and he should be good today. And E.B. Bob? Uh, he's got a couple quarter cracks. Uh, he's just coming back. Uh, he should be fairly decent, but uh, he's not the horse C. Darwin is. All right, this brings up us up to race five in the early program, Royal High Jinx. This one, of course, drew outside. Yes, yeah, so it shouldn't make too much difference whether she got a lot of front speed. Uh, she uh, has been an open mare at Northfield, and uh, she, she likes to leave, and she should be right there. We know what the fun of it is for the amateur drivers because they tell us a lot. They love the competition, they love the sport, and it's great to travel around to different tracks and meet people. But as a trainer in these amateur races, what's the fun for you? Uh, it's, uh, more or less the owners of uh, our horses are uh, Dean and uh, Bert Beachy, and uh, they deal in horses, and uh, they like to race a few, and uh, they like to do it, so we more or less accommodate them. All right, well, good luck today. You've got half a dozen chances to get to the winner's circle, <laughs> and thank you so much for joining me. And thank you. Let's go back over to you, Sam. Okay, Trish, just one minute until.